What's up? It's your self-proclaimed cinema show gun here. And just when I thought I could go to sleep and maybe the news was done for the night, the Crumbly's car was identified by a pedestrian walking down the street in Detroit, Michigan. He notified law enforcement and now law enforcement is on the scene. They have the vehicle, but they do not have the Crumbly's. The Crumbly's are still at large. I don't know. The... The crumblies, it's just, it's just amusing to me. I'm sorry. I know that it's childish. I know, but I'm sorry. The crumblies, it's just, it makes me giggle every time I say it. But the crumblies are at large. They're out here on the streets. They're believed to be on foot now. So we have local law enforcement in the area. We have U.S. Marshals. They just ordered in some air units to come assist them in this search. They're believed to be heavily armed and dangerous on foot downtown in Detroit. Now, I don't know exactly what's going on here. I don't know if this was a vehicle dump and they're far gone somewhere else by now or if they're still on foot in this area. But as far as we know right now, they have the vehicle and they believe that they're on foot somewhere in this area. They also believe that they may have split up, but I'm not buying that. I think they will stay together but I'm not sure they're still in this area. Now, of course the police believe they're in this area, but I'm not so sure. But what we're seeing here is another crazy event because the prosecutor basically jumped the gun and let this information out about these charges before she notified you know, the sheriff's department. At least that's what the sheriff's department says. But the prosecutor is saying that the, that the sheriff's department was saying that they had his family already under surveillance. So here we have another situation where someone slipped away while supposedly under surveillance. At least that's what some of the stories are right now. They're both conflicting each other. Who knows which side is telling the truth, but you know how this goes. You'll never get a clear story as to what really happened there. But we know that the vehicle has been found. It is an ongoing situation. They just arrived on the scene like five or ten minutes ago. Like I said, as of right now, as of rec the recording of this, the Crumblies are still at large and believed to be heavily armed and dangerous on foot in Detroit. If you're in the area, please be careful because I don't know how this is going to end. But as crazy as things are getting, it's just... One can only assume this might just end very crazily. And I just want everyone to be safe. Lock your doors if you're in the area because, like I who knows what could happen here? Who knows? But I'm going to be playing, paying close attention to it as always. I'm going to try to go get some rest. And we will see how the story develops for the rest of the night. But as I, updates come in, I'll be right here to update you all. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. Go to the description of this video. I will have a link to my cash shop if you would kind of like support the channel. A link to my YouTube channel. You can go subscribe over there. And a link to my Twitter. You can go follow me over there as well. But as always, find some time out of your day to go get some rest.